Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google meeting to do a live meeting or live instruction and share that Google meeting inside of Seesaw. First thing, here are the Google Meet instructions for DPS. To get to this document right here, use this bit.ly, bit.ly forward slash DPS meet guide. That will bring up this document with instructions. It'll tell you how to create the meet and then also how to share that meet and, uh, and name it correctly for your students. So let's go to meet.google.com. In this window, I am actually going to uh, start a meeting. First, when I click start a meeting, I need to give it a nickname. And I'm going to give it a very specific nickname, Mr. Dino DPS Elementary School. This nickname is what I want to share with my students. I'm going to click continue. And note that it's ready to open the meeting room. Here is the nickname. Let's just join now so you can see this. When I click join now, it opens the meeting room and it tells me here's the nickname and that meeting nickname can only be used within DPS, Denver Public Schools. So remember the nickname of your meeting room and that, that can be used throughout. You don't need to change it. That can be used throughout the year. I'm gonna close that live meeting window. I'm gonna go into Seesaw. And in Seesaw, here's my class. I now need to create an activity. I now need to create an activity to put that meeting link into. So I'm going to go up to the plus sign, assign activity. It goes to my activity library. I have a uh, activity already set up here. It's called the morning meeting using the Google Meet. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn how to create this on your own, you can see the other tutorials on creating activities. I need to edit this activity. So I'm going to edit it, make sure my instructions are correct. Morning meeting using Google Meet. Click the text box to join our morning meeting. Make sure you're logged into your DPS Google account. That all looks good. I can add voice instructions if I'd like. On my example, I want to click on that. And in this text box, which they're going to click, if I click the text box, I now can insert a link for that text box. I'm going to click link and I'm going to paste in the exact address of that Google Meet. This is, notice the naming convention on this. It's g.co forward slash meet Mr. Dino DPS Elementary School. That is my address. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to save that activity. By the way, that naming convention for your Google Meeting is, come. I'm going to come back to the DPS Google Meet Guide, and that is covered right in this section. So back to Seesaw. My activity is ready. I'm going to click Assign. I'm going to assign it to one of my classes. And now it is assigned to one of my classes. To view that activity, I'm going to go to that class. Here's the activity, morning meeting. Click the text box to join our morning meeting. Let's do that. They click on that. It says very clearly, click here to join the live meeting. So they click on that and it'll launch that window. They click join now and they will be in your live Google Meet session. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.